All right, you guys, get in here, get in here, get in here. This might be a bumpy ride. First of all, thank you all for clicking the thumbnail over here at Pepe Love View. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you for your subscribing to the channel. Thank you for leaving comments. I promise you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Honestly, I can't do it without you. This channel can't be what it is without you. And I promise you, I really and truly sincerely say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You know, I am about to be like Shaka Khan and Stephanie Mills right about now. I am. I am. And, and I'm a person who, you know, sometimes people tell me that, you know, I'm blind and that I don't care about people's feelings. And that's not true. I do. First of all, I know people are human. And secondly, I'm letting you know that I am being mindful because, you know, you never know how people react to things. Not that I care, but again, I like to live in peace and harmony. <laughs> well, having said that, let me tell you about briefly why I feel like I'm about to be like Shaka Khan and Stephanie Mills. So there I am, it's my spring break. I'm enjoying my spring break. I'm kind of just chillaxing, cooling, chilling, lounging around, watching TV. And there's a particular artist that comes on the television set. It's a com it's a commercial. I've been meaning to try to uh, get into this particular artist as far as the music and everything is concerned. And I will talk about that artist. Trust me, it's nothing negative. I'm trying to make a point here. And so there I am, I'm laying down, and I was like, okay, let me pull the computer over towards me, and let me just start clicking <laughs> on some information regarding this artist. And for the most part, I'm feeling good about this artist. I just put it to you like that, but that artist will come up in another video. All right? <sighs> So there I am, I'm listening to this artist. And the first thing I have to say to myself is I'm like, oh, wow, you know, okay. Number one, I understand what the artist is saying, literally, you know, with the auto tunes and all this, this particular singing style that people have nowadays. I'm like, I just don't get it. <laughs> You know, like, what did he say? What did she say? And of course, I'm leaning to my nieces and nephews. And of course, they can tell me, you know, they're in their teens and early 20s and so on and so forth. So they can tell me. I'm like, OK, this, I, I guess so, I guess. <laughs> so moving right along from that, I'm clicking on the different songs. I'm like, OK. And then it finally got to the point where I'm saying to myself, like, I like what you're saying. Number one, that's what I'm listening to. Mind you, I am totally like the, the, the production, the production in this day and time. It 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 it's oh, there it is. Like I said, it, it's what it is. I, I I just can't take this anymore. It slows me down. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like as I'm listening to the music, the music alone, you know, the melody, the rhythm, the groove. It's like I get to the point where I'm just like, hmm, like I'm going into this slope and I'm almost depressed. And I'm like, what is this? has nothing to do with the artist. I want you guys to understand it's, it's, it's not the artist, but that's why I can't get into the music nowadays. I'm letting you know, like it's, it's difficult. To, it's, it is difficult for me to just get past the first line, the first lyric in a song to hear the lyric in the beat. I'm like, oh gosh, like what is this? Like I can't, I feel slow. Okay. <sighs> So I'm clicking on it, and here's what, remember I made a comment about, you know, Anita Baker, and I was like, okay, Anita Baker, I'm, I'm, 
I need some up-tempo things from you. You know, I know you can do it. You've done it before. It's definitely in your catalog. So I'm looking for some up-tempo things. And that's what I'm looking for with this particular artist. I'm clicking on it like, okay, not this song. But I was able to at least hear two songs all the way through. And those two songs, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling this. Like, I, I, I get it. I'm going back to understanding it. Isn't it a shame? that I am saying that I understand what is being said and I want you all to understand what I mean when I say I'm understanding what the song is about. Like, I understand the words that are coming out of this singer's mouth. Like, I know you're saying to be this, that, these, those. I understand those words. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whew. So I, I just, I, I just, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Like, I don't know how far this R&B diva journey is going to go if you R&B divas and just people in general, like, you are not, you, you're not taking me anywhere that I want to go with you. And as I said before, I lost my way in the 90s with R&B divas. Like, you, you, you're just not the 80s divas. It's just what it is. It's no disrespect. I'm not putting the R&B divas of the 80s on a pedestal. But here's what I know for a fact about the R&B divas of the 80s. I do understand this. I followed it enough to understand. These ladies, they worked hard to know what their craft is. <laughs> they know how to use it. Okay? They understand this stuff, you know. <laughs> like some of the ladies who I admire in the business and they're in the 1980s some of them went to school like literally college to do this or they have a background in the church not saying that you all new divas don't i'm just giving you an idea like they understand it they also understand that yes music was changing but they knew music they knew it so what if they brought in a, a, an instrument that took the place of, I don't know, a guitar or a piano? Let's just say they did. Some of them still knew how to play the guitar and the piano. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh. And it's driving me like bananas <laughs> to know that there is an appreciation of music that is no longer there. Like, it's not there. I don't know. Like, I understand when it comes down to packaging, and I wasn't even going to go down this route. I'm trying to do something else with this video, but let it flow. I understand for the most part when it comes to music and, and, and entertainment, it's definitely bells and whistles. Like, if you don't get that concept, then I don't understand what, what you're watching, like what you think you're watching. It's definitely bells and whistles. <sighs> so I understand that, let's just say, and the story goes with a particular iconic artist where he just saw some women one day in the, in, in, uh, on the street somewhere and he pulled them in and he dressed them up real nicely and he turned them out into this spectacular <laughs> girl group. <laughs> but guess what? I like that girl group. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I like the melody. I like their music. And I'm so glad they chose to sing those songs that they, were, that they are known for. I'm glad. <laughs> it was music. At the end of the day, now the guy who was producing it <laughs> was, a pro was probably allegedly high as a giraffe behind and a kite, <laughs> both of them together. <laughs> but the music was their life. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm glad I'm talking about this. I'm going in a different direction. I don't believe I'm going in this direction. Oh, let it flow. You guys, let me, let, okay, let me just make this plain and simple to you. Let's go back to that other artist with this comment I just made. 
So there I am, and I'm slowing down, y'all. I'm serious. Like it's like I'm already there, and I'm listening to it, and it's just slowing me down. Like I'm just going so slow. Like it's like I'm in a meditative state of being. Yeah. And so I'm saying to myself, like, what is happening? Like, I know I'm lounging around and all that stuff and I'm watching TV, but like this here is saddening. And then I thought about it. I said, I got this visual, like nothing out of body. I'm just saying I got this visual and I realized this is the kind of music or the kind of sound I will. You know, when you see a couple together. And they're just lounging around together and they're smoking, they're drinking, they're doing their thing, whatever it is that they're doing. They're smoking and they're drinking and all of that stuff. Do you understand where I'm going with? I hope you do. And, and, and I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm tired of this music. Like you guys, I, I don't listen to it anymore. Like, I want to get into this music, but I can't. It's the rhythm alone that I just cannot get into. I don't know what you all are doing and what you think you're doing, but it is like, no, it's enough for me right now. It's enough. It's enough. I'm trying to like you. You might be a wonderful, great artist. And and I know it feels like kind of like I'm all over the place. And let me just stop for a second because I want to make sure I'm making my point. <sighs> There's a lack of appreciation. Like, I want to know out of everybody, <laughs> like, and from my understanding, this particular artist is a musician. So I want to know, like, out of all of the people in the business right now, really, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment. Like, I want to know who in the business that is producing right now, I want to know, first of all, are they, uh, uh, in order for me to like you, number one, you got to be a musician. It's, it's just what it is. If you're not a musician, I'm not even going to even pay you any attention. That's number one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, producers, I'm not, I, I don't care anymore. You need to go and you need to pick up an instrument. You do. If you are a singer, if you are a singer, I don't care how good you think you sound, you should be taking singing lessons right now. I don't care who you are in the business. If you are a singer, I don't care how you sound, you should be taking singing lessons right now. You should have a vocal coach. You should, you should, you should. We need to get back to the basics. That's going to be my platform for the rest of 2023. Back to the basics. We are going back to one-on-one. -on -one. You got to get back there. You got to get back to the one-on-one. -on -one. I am happy for you. I am not knocking your success, any of you out there. I promise you I am not. I am not knocking it. I am happy and proud for you all doing something that you love and you enjoy doing, I am. I promise you, I am trying to go to bat for you. But at the end of the day, you have limited yourself and you are going to limit me. And I refuse to let you limit me by listening to this. Yeah. I'm done. I am so done. That's number one. And this person is a musician. So I know that. So my thing is... Sweet, are you are you doing Stevie? Are, are you doing what Lionel Richie did? You know, Lionel Richie. You know, he sat at the uh, the piano and he played while he was entertaining us. Mm hmm. Yes, he did. Like you got to get me into the groove. I don't have time for this relaxed. Uh, like the the sound alone. <laughs> Like the way the song was going, <laughs> like everything, like there was nothing to me. Like it was like this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <it's just> like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's like I can't do it. 
I can't even sound it. Don't sound. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Trying to keep myself together, but I can't. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Y'all, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm glad I'm laughing about it, but I'm so serious. I yeah, it's that bad. It's it's music is that bad. It's that bad. It's that bad. Oh gosh. Like I'm, I'm done. Like I, I can't do it. I, I, I might have to just literally go back to the old way of saying and and just start <laughs> calling people out. Saying that is just not going to work. Like it's amazing to me that <laughs> you know here we are. We have these artists now who have who. Who I was about to say something, but I'm, I'm going to hold that one. You probably have a huge fan base, millions of followers on your social media pages. And concerts you've sold out and you continue to sell out. But I'm here to tell you, that doesn't mean that you are a good artist. It doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> it doesn't mean that at all. Trust me, we went through those episodes in the 80s. And those who were born, let's just say, who experienced the 80s. How about that? I'm talking about from 80 all the way through. We've done, been there and done that as far as entertainment is concerned. We can go into our 80s catalog, into our 80s mental uh, 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 Rolodex up here, and we can say, you're not doing anything new. She did that and he did that before you. You're not doing anything new. You're not. As a matter of fact, when it comes to how you sound vocally, we could say you sound just like that person over there who, yeah, maybe had a great career, but everybody knew we wasn't checking for that artist vocally. Do you understand what I'm saying? So here's what we need to do. We need to get back to the basics, back to one-on-one. -on -one. We really and truly do like I am, I, I need to... <laughs> We need to petition people, <laughs> you know, like all of these artists, we really and truly need to band together like everybody who loves R&B music, <laughs> who loves uh, artists of a particular caliber. We need to get together, seriously, and we need to champion for those artists. We do and say, y'all, we, 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 we are starving over here for good quality music and <laughs> Like what they're doing to us now is not working. It is so not working. I promise you, I'm going to go back to that. I, I I felt like in a slump. And, it all, and, and, and don't get me wrong, some of the music that we heard, people was drinking to, they were doing their thing to it, you know, all of that stuff I understood, but... Uh, it wasn't bringing you down. And I know somebody was probably going to say, well, there are some things out there that can make you, you know, you got your uppers and your downers. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. But no, no, this was a whole different effect. Like this here was like, and I just felt like I was just sinking into an abyss of nothingness. <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh, Y'all, we must do better. We have to. Yeah. Somebody need to start saying to people right now, like you there's no accountability. 
there's no artistic accountability anymore. There, there, it just isn't. And I don't. I, and, and here's the thing: holding these uh, uh, ex- executives, are there any out there nowadays? Accountable for what they're producing is not going to work because at the end of the day, they're concerned about their bottom line. So if they're going to cut a project uh, simply because you know it's too much money involved to do it the live way, you know, understand what I'm saying? Bringing musicians in. They're concerned about their bottom line. I am talking now about artistry and how I'm looking and I'm saying to myself, you got to be joking if you think like with like this is not okay. Ooh, prime example. This is not like Sade. You know how Sade, you, you understand the groove of Sade. This is not like an Anita Baker groove. You know what I'm saying? Like, who else? This is not even Erica Badu type of groove. Do you feel what I'm saying? At least she made you think. Oh, Jesus, I can't do it. This is not even the video. I was going in a different direction. I knew I was, but I got, and hey, I'm going to post it. Because this is ridiculous. I can't, like, I can't. And I told you already. 1988, now 1989, 1990 is my year in music for me. 1991, I don't know what happened to that year. And 1997 is the year I fit, I stopped listening to the radio because what you are doing now in music and entertainment, first of all, I saw that you was pushing all those old heads out. Push them out. To give us this. To give us this. It is limitless. It is pointless. It it, it does nothing. It does nothing. And y'all need to go back to school. Y'all need to, y'all need to go back to school. You know, we need to go back and we need to get these old heads who, you know, at least understood I need this to sound like this. I don't want anybody to tell me this is what we're listening to on the radio, because if that's the case, then you're telling me what it is that you think I want to hear. And I'm telling you, I want to hear it. This particular artist had a great voice. As a matter of fact, do y'all even know anything about producing vocals anymore? Didn't they don't don't they have vocal producers or vocal arrangers or something like that? Like, do y'all use these people? (laughs) <laughs> like, yeah, I know you don't use background singers anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, 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 what happened? What happened to music? What happened to music? That is what I am going to call this post. What happened to music? What are y'all doing? out there like and I'm in tears over here laughing about how yeah yeah I I I no well <laughs> you know if you watch me and you watch all the way to the end of the video then you already know over here we believe in putting up behind where our hearts desire to be. But at this moment in time, for those of you who have put you all behind where your hearts desire to be, I'm here to tell you what you're doing is not going to keep you there. <laughs> and I almost also want to say, you know, remember, whenever I leave my mother's presence, she always says, baby, I love you, but God loves you best. But I love you enough to tell you that what you're doing with this music currently is just like, y'all, y'all I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> like, this is... oh. See you next video. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>